Say, Dorothy, I see here in TV forecast that tonight is the night for those Miss U.S. Television Grand Finals. Oh, that's right. Say, you know, we ought to watch that because this is the first time in television that a girl has been chosen for her outstanding talent and beauty for the, to earn the title of Miss U.S. Television. Oh, I hope we haven't missed it. No, we haven't. In fact, it's time right now for the grand finals of Miss U.S. Television. And we can get it on our set. I'm Tish McCarley, Miss Houston TV. Gee, I hope you like me, because I'd like to become Miss U.S. TV. I'm Betty Ann Webb, Miss Tri-State Television. It sure would be wonderful to win a TV contest. I'm Beverly LeBlanc, Miss New Orleans TV. There's an awful lot of competition. I hope I win. I'm Georgia Reed, Miss Baltimore. I sure have my eye on that TV crown. My name is Edith Adams. I'm going to try and come through for New York. The name is Beverly Ann Olzinski, representing the Motor City of Detroit. And folks, I'm going to try to bring that crown home. I'm Deborah Lynn, Miss Cleveland TV. I can dream, can I? I'm Kathy Collins, and gosh, I sure would like to win the title for Chicago. Winona Smith's my name. I'm from Los Angeles. I've come an awfully long way, and I hope this is the chance I've been waiting for. I'm Frida Roser, from Alabama TV. I've got my fingers crossed. I'm Nancy Blythe from Cincinnati. I've been waiting for a chance an awfully long time, and I hope this is it. I'm Sally Sweet, Miss Twin City TV. I'd like to exchange 10,000 legs for $10,000. I'm Patsy Judd, Miss Salt Lake City TV. I hope I can win tonight. I'm Ben Gottschalk. I'm not entered in this contest. I'm the grand finals chairman for this Miss Television of the United States pageant that's being held here at the Chicago Fair of 1950. Ah, tonight the Dumont Network is very happy and proud to present this first grand search for beauty and talent to find the girl that above all you'd like to see on your television set at home. Believe me when I tell you that these girls that you're going to see tonight represent all the results of weeks and weeks of searching and weeding out in the major television centers of the United States today. I know that you're just as anxious as I am to see all the girls and see the things they can do. But I'll tell you what I would like to do for you. I'd like to show you just where these television centers are. Now to do that, we're going to look at a map. And on this map, we find all these television centers from which these girls have been selected. While you're looking at the map, I'd also like to acknowledge all the judges that are viewing this telecast. I'm sure you're going to find this interesting because the first judge in New York, Al Cap, the famed father of Little Abner and Daisy May. In New York also, Michael Todd. The great Broadway theatrical producer. He has two hit shows running on the street right well, now. I think we've spent enough time talking about this. Now, wouldn't you like to join me as we visit our first Won't contestant? Won't you come along with me to the Mississippi? We'll take a boat. like this with such pretty girls and such talented girls is just like... Dressing with 
you eat at Adams. When they told me about all the girls, they gave me a little card with all their biographies and yours didn't have a thing on it and that would suggest your life is a total blank. Well, I don't know about that. <laughs> it's not a total blank. What are you going to sing? I'm going to sing Love is Where You Find It. Love is Where You Find It and if you find it, then your life won't be a blank anymore. No, Will that's right. Edith well, Adams from New York City. Go over and sing. <laughs> U.S. Miss Television Contest. 
I'd like to announce to everyone here in the audience, in the studio, to our 60,000 guests at the fair tonight, and to the many millions that are watching this program, our first winner. May I congratulate... Are you ready, Vin? I guess you got him over there. May I congratulate Miss Edith Adams of New York City. <laughs> May I have the crown or the tiara for the queen? Tiara, that's a great word. <laughs> Behind your ears. I'm as nervous as you are. Oh, nobody could be more nervous than I am right now. There we go. Now, don't bob your head too much. No, I won't. And some flowers. Hmm? The tiara from Henry Brogoff, Edith, and these flowers for you. And our heartiest congratulations to you, the first winner of the United States Miss Television Contest. Oh, well, thank you ever so much. And I hope that this is not the last contest that you win or the last time that you appear on television, which I know it won't be. From Chicago, the Dumont Television Network has presented the finals of the first Miss United States Television Contest. Appearing were winners of the local television contest in major cities all over the country. Our winner, selected by the votes of judges Al Kapp and Michael Todd, watching in New York City's, and Walter Schwimmer, Robert Kubasek, and Crosby Kelly, watching in Chicago, was Miss New York Television, Miss Edith Adams. Chairman of the finals was Vincent Gottschalk. This Walter Schwimmer production was supervised by Paul Killiam and directed by Barry McKinnon. This has been a Dumont Network teletranscription.